appendicitis is the inflammation of appendix. So in this picture, we can see the intestine and here the inflamed appendix. Inflammation of appendix. An appendix is a finger-shaped pouch present at the lower right side of abdomen. In this picture, we can see. And also start with a dull pain in the middle or right side of abdomen and pain moves down to the lower right abdomen. So because of inflammation of appendix. So the basic pathophysiology opening the appendix become obstructed. So this is the appendix. If it is obstructed, inflammation start. So how it, it will get obstruction? By fecal or fecal substance, by tumor or any kind of infections and result in inflammation, ischemia, and bacterial overgrowth. So when appendix become inflamed or infected or perforation may occur within a matter of hour, leading to peritonitis, inflammation of the peritoneum. And all of this lead to sepsis, and sepsis lead to septic shock and potentially death. So treatment is surgically removed of appendix before part for it occur. So what are the data collection signs symptom? Usually I told you right lower quadrant pain and this area we call McBurney's point. So McBurney's point tenderness, or also rebound tenderness, or loss of appetite, nausea and fever, and vomiting. So let me read it. Pain in periumbilical area that is de descent to the right lower quadrant. Abdominal pain that is the most intense at McBurney's point. Refer point pain that indicate the presence of peritoneal irritations, rebound tenderness, abdominal rigidity, elevated white blood cell count, also side lying position with abdominal gardening, difficult walking and pain in the right hip, low grade fever, anorexia, nausea, vomiting after the pain developed, also diarrhea. So I told appendicitis can lead to peritonitis if untreated. Peritonitis means resulting of perforate appendix. This is the appendix, if it is perforate, lead inflammation of peritoneum. This peritoneum is all this area. Data collection increase the fever, progressive abdominal distension, trachycardia, trachypnea, pallor, chill or restlessness and irritabilities. So an indication of perforate appendix is the sudden relief of pain and then a subsequent increase in pain accompanied by right gardening of abdomen. So what are the treatment for appendicitis? Surgical removal of appendix and it is called appendicectomy. So if you go for lab work or blood work, we can see increase WBC count, 
okay and if it is when patient have appendicitis it is good to nothing by mouth i start iv fluid and iv antibiotics when we remove the appendix it is called appendicectomy surgically correction so what are the nursing intervention so moment before operation maintain nothing by mouth status if nothing by mouth we need iv fluid management iv fluid and electrolyte may be prescribed to prevent dehydration and correct electrolyte imbalance monitor for sign of a ruptured appendix and peritonitis monitor for change in the level of pain pain medications may be avoided so as not to mark a pain change associated with perforation antibiotics may be prescribed monitor the bowel sound position the child in a right side lying or low to semi polar position to promote comfort apply the ice pack to the abdomen for 20 to 30 minute every hour avoid the applications of heat to the abdomen and administration of laxative tips or emesis because of risk of perforation. So post-operative intervention, monitor the temperature for sign of infection. Maintain nothing by mouth status until bowel function has returned. Advance the diet gradually as tolerated and as prescribed or when bowels are written. Monitor the incision for sign of infection, such as redness, swelling, dryness, and pain. Monitor the penrose drain, uh, pain drainage, which may be inserted if perforation occur. Position in a right side lying or low to semi-polar position with the leg slightly flexed to facilitate the drainage. Change the dressing as prescribed or record the type and amount of drainage, perforate wound irrigations, maintain and tube suction and the potency of tube. Admin antibiotics, and analgesics as prescribed. So it is very important after the surgical operation, monitor for complication like perforation or rupture. So sudden relief of pain is indicated maybe the perforation or peritonitis, stiff, standard abdomen. 